Now, all teams left Indianapolis for the Illini. It was a short bus ride home. Yeah, they returned to Champaign okay. about 3.30 this afternoon. WCI3's Craig Choate joins us live from outside the State Farm Center with more tonight. Craig? A very somber mood as the bus pulled into oven practice facility about 3.30 this afternoon as Paul said almost fitting that it was a near torrential downpour as the Illini came home because all of that hope, all of that confidence that the team had built, uh, built up over the last month all washed away just like that. The entire basketball staff unloaded the bus about 3.30 at the uh, oven practice facility. Athletic director Josh Whitman quickly behind them. Managers grabbed all the Gatorade coolers, the bags, everything from the bus. The school did just release a statement on today's announcement, but they are not making any players or coaches available to the media at this time. Hopefully that changes soon so we can hear what kind of emotions are going through those players and coaches' heads right now. Obviously a sad, sad ending to such a promising season for the basketball team, but this has far-reaching effects not just for Illini basketball. Coming up in sports, we'll dive deeper into what that means. Reporting live in Champaign for your Illini Nation, Craig Show, WCI3 Sports. Yeah, obviously disappointing. They had their sights set on not just a run in the Big Ten tournament, but uh, their sights set on a bigger prize as well. Craig, we'll look forward to more for in sports. Thanks.